Welcome back my lovelies to another exciting video. Today, we're going to analyze my hair and scalp using a camera. We're gonna see how clean, how dirty, how damaged or non-damaged my hair is. I'm excited, so let's begin. This is what the device looks like. It comes with a monitor and it comes with this camera right here. And you have two lens options. You have the 200X and then you have the 50X. And what does this retail for, babe? You got this on Amazon? $150. So this is not a cheap, cheap product. This is expensive product, but yeah, look at that. How cool that is. <laughs> but we're gonna get right into it. And first we're gonna begin with dirty hair and scalp day four. Let's do this. Should we just jump right into 200X or 50X? Let's do 50X though. All right, we'll do 50X first and then we'll jump into 200. X. You wanna make sure the light turns on. All right, let's look at this. I'm gonna look right, right here in the center, and I'm going to record with this little camera. Just go down the center, I guess, and see. I have like sometimes two hair coming out of a follicle, some less, some more. That's so cool. You can definitely see that it's oily and it's dirty, like you can see it right there. There's a lot of extra sebum. After postpartum, my hair is falling out like crazy. I've been mentioning this over and over again, but it's also getting extra, extra oily on like the second and third day. And it's just, it's been so bad. Like even dry shampoo doesn't help me right now. So yeah, I'm trying to extend it as much as possible. It's so interesting to see that oil around the hair follicles, like extra. Wow. That's Crazy cool. I'm trying to go slow so you guys can see. And this is only 50X. Ooh, you can see some breakage right there. Wow. That's so cool. All right, should I go to 200X? Yeah. Let me, I'm gonna change my party line. Let's go here. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's go. Wow. That's cool. That kind of goes right into Trying to see more of like the scalp. Yeah, you can see right there. This is kind of as I was talking about the oils. You see that? It's kind of like surrounding the hair follicles. Wow, my hair's kind of damaged. See how some of that hair is like clear looking? I have to read what that is. I think I was, ooh, look at that extra oil. What is that? Actually, I think it's my, it's a dirty scalp. That's what that is. Now I just look at the hair. Wow. That's so interesting. I'm gonna look right here where I'm losing a ton of hair, where I have like bald spots. What is that orange piece? Do you see that? What is that? What is that? Let me see what that is. Oh, that's a glitter. I have a glitter in my hair. That's probably from five years ago. <laughs> Wow, this is so cool, honestly. All right, I need to stop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna apply some dry shampoo into my hair, and then we can, I'm gonna give it like 30 seconds to kind of really sink into the hair, kind of put it in there, or should I even, should I do it? Or just leave it on the scalp, not really massage it in? We wanna, we wanna see what it looks like, or if it's gonna do anything. Okay, so I'm just gonna put it right here. I'm just gonna put it in one little spot since I'm gonna go wash my hair right after this. Make sure I really soak it in there. Give it 30 seconds to really soak in and then I'm gonna go and massage it really quickly and then we'll check again. All right, let's see what it looks like with a dry shampoo. <laughs> I kind of put it into my scalp, well, massage it into my scalp and it feels very gritty right now. So let's, let's first go right here like I was. Wow. It literally looks like snow. Look at that. That's sitting right on the scalp, like a massive amount of dry shampoo. It looks like a lot, but you can't really see it. Look at this right there on the scalp, babe. Yeah, Emmerich, you see it? You see that? Yeah. 
Isn't that insane? That's crazy. Wow. So all of that will just sit on your scalp. Yeah. And then this right here is a hair. Look how it does that on the hair. That literally looks kind of like trees. Yeah. Like bushes, you know, like... Bamboo. Bamboo with a <laughs> bunch of snow on it. Like that literally looks like snow. Wow. I want to check right here where there's a little bit more scalp with hair. Wow. It basically takes the oil and kind of like curdles it and makes it into like tiny little chunks. Because you can't really see the oil anymore. You most, you just see the snow, <laughs> is what I'm calling it. That's so cool. So this is the dandruff, not dandruff. <laughs> this right here is a dry shampoo. Let's go in the clean part. You can see a difference. Wow. Huge difference, especially on the scalp. And then going back into the snow. That's really cool. Okay, I am ready to go take a shower to really clean my hair. I'm gonna check on very clean hair and clean scalp and then we'll put a little bit of dry shampoo on the scalp and hair to see if there's a huge difference. If it looks really snowy like it does now with oily hair or if it if it doesn't look as you know snowy or I don't know how to even explain that texture. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower and I'll be right back. Okay, back from the shower. Nice, clean and fresh. Got a full face of makeup on, I feel great. <laughs> Let's check the scalp now that it's clean and fresh and ready to go. I'm not, I'm not sure where it's ready to go, but it's ready to get checked out with the camera. All right, let's do this. Okay. Yes. How's it looking? I mean, it looks cleaner, but I'm still like, my scalp is a little dry and oily at the same time. So you can see a little bit of flakiness happening. So that's kind of cool to see that. It's gonna kind of stop in certain areas. I'm trying to see the scalp as well. That is so fascinating. Wow. I mean, it's definitely a lot cleaner and it's not as oily looking. I do wanna check, I'm gonna lay the hair down and I wanna see the hair because I found this right here, the little chart or the little booklet that they give you and you can really see what your hair follicles look like, your scalp, things like that. So let's see. <laughs> let's see, just, what does that look like? can't really tell because it's so bright. What is that showing? Gray white hair absence or loss of color pigments. Well, yeah, because I bleached my hair. So you can definitely see that. Let me kind of quickly see where I have like new growth, like new hair growth. I'm trying to kind of see. Okay, there you can kind of see the colors right there. That's so interesting, that darkness, wow. It looks like it's pretty clean and healthy because they said it's supposed to look shiny. Yeah, healthy hair bulb, hair bulb and damaged hair bulb. So that's really interesting. You can see the hair density or the comparison. That's really cool. But right here it says healthy hair, a surface that's smooth and shiny with cuticle and regularity arranged. So. Yeah, it looks very smooth and shiny. Some parts, like, I mean, obviously I'm checking right here at the very top. You know what I do wanna check? I wanna see like some hair. Let's do it like this. Wow, that's pretty good. You can definitely see like loss of color because I bleached my hair or that one right there, you can see a very good pigment. That's my hair. Looks pretty smooth. Interesting. I do want to see maybe some like ends. That's my hand and then the hair. If you guys are hearing noises, we're doing our house right now, renovating. So right now I want to do, I'm going to apply a little bit of dry shampoo. Let's apply a little bit of dry shampoo like right here, like by the ears, just because that's where I get very oily, like on the second day. I'm not going to do too much as I did the first time. I'm gonna do it on both sides. I'll give it like 30 seconds and then I'll massage it in. All right, let's 
ready. And I'm still on the 200X. I'm just gonna pick it up where I applied it and see if we can see. Oh, yep. We can, see. yep. It's very similar. Extremely similar, it's just not as much. It's just the hair doesn't look as coated, just because I didn't do as much, but it still looks just like snow. But it, it attaches itself. Attaches right? itself to the hair cuter. Yep, the hair, like, yeah. Oh. There's still shampoo on the scalp, but I feel like it's mostly, look, at that's a cool shot right there. It looks literally like branches with tree, with snow on there. Interesting. How cool is that? Yeah. Wow. Right here, where I didn't apply as much dry shampoo, you can see a big difference. Wow. Let me go, let me go kind of like right here where I, there's no dry shampoo. Yeah, it's like, it's a lot cleaner. There's the hair. Interesting, this is so cool. All right guys, there you have it. A quick analysis of my scalp and hair using this really cool camera. And the feedback is actually really good. The quality is really nice. It's really precise. And the camera is really nice. I like that it gives you two options. It gives you a 50X and then 200X. I think this is great for people that really want to analyze their hair and see the progress from A to B or wherever you're trying to get your hair or your scalp. For example, like if let's say I stopped using bleach, I stopped coloring my hair, I stopped using every kind of heat tool on my hair and to really see the integrity of how far my hair got, I think that's incredible. But for, yeah, just like Emra says, it's not for everybody. <laughs> this is a really expensive, product that doesn't give you all the benefits. For example, I really would appreciate if they had like an SD card slot or like a like a HD card, like an input where I can take the footage and put it onto my computer or my phone, but they don't even have that. All you do is just live feedback on the camera from here to the screen. You can capture a picture, but you can't really save it or transfer it. So that's the really negative part in my opinion. At least this one doesn't allow that. But yeah, I thought this was really cool, right? Yeah. Really neat to see. I'm really happy I checked the dry shampoo just for myself, for my own, for my own questions that I had. What does dry shampoo look like on my hair? Does it usually just stick on the scalp or does it actually kind of coat a lot of the hair follicles? And that's exactly what it did. But for now, you guys, thank you for watching. Let me know if you've done this before or you're really curious and you wanna do it on yourself or others. But for now, thank you for watching. I'll see you next one very soon. Bye.